Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we are on the, in the sixth day. So well done, if you are watching this one, well done. We're in the sixth day, sixth day, sorry. And, but also, how do you feel? You know, we feel different, definitely we feel different. And remember, it's not about developing flexibility, it's about mobility. So why I say this? Because sometimes we think like a do uh, yoga is going to make us super flexible in very little time. But in reality, we need to think how many days or many years we don't stretch. And then when we start to stretch, so it's going to take us longer, you know, to develop huge flexibility. But the important, observe how do you tie your shoes, how do you pick up a stuff, how you reach a stuff, how you move. You know, after the six day, you start to see that you start to move differently because your muscles are more flexible, more loose. So then it gives you more mobility for your joints. So let's start, everybody. Ready? So we come at the front of your mat. Remember your deep and long breath that will help us to relax the muscles when we feel very tense or we feel too much tension. So ready? Come at the front of your mat. And we're just going to bring our hands on our shoulders. I'm going to do this part in front of you, okay? So we're going to bring elbows in. And we open our elbows. And we just go for six. And open. For five. Open. For four. Open. For three. Open. For two. Open. And just one more. Great. Release your arms to the front and ex inhale to prepare. Sorry. Exhale, spine roll, bending your knees. Remember this part. Inhale. This time remember when we straight our back, keeping your hands on your on your lower leg or on the ground if you can. Bend your knees to be able to straight your back. Hands on your hips and push the ground as you inhale. And exhale, raise your torso with your back straight. I know this part is hard because it really gives us a big stretch in the legs and the glutes, but we try to do it, okay? So let's go one more time. Release your arms down. Inhale. Exhale, spine roll. We bend the knees if we need it. Inhale, straight our back. Hands on our hips. We take one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, keeping your back straight, feeling super intense, the stretch. Keep your legs bent, you don't feel pain at the back of the knee. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, push the ground, raise your torso. Good. Let's go one more time. Inhale, drop your hands. Exhale, spine roll. Pushing the ground with your feet to have stability. Let the hands drop beside your feet. Inhale, lift the chest. You can keep hands on your lower leg or on the ground. Straighten your back at the maximum. Take a breath here. Inhale or keep your hands on your hips if you prefer. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Push the ground and raise your torso. Good. We really feel the stretch very strong in our glutes, our legs. Last one, everybody. Arms drop. Inhale. Exhale. Spine roll. Releasing your spine, dropping your hands beside your feet. Inhale, chest up, straight your back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come all the way up. Hands on your hips. And come all the way. Good. Bring your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Push your palms away. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch those to your right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, towards your leg. And back again. Drop your hands. Keep the same with hips and feet. Bend your knees. Squat as far as you can. We don't force. We're going to go. Inhale, arms to the front. Exhale, palms facing down. Arms backwards. And let's go for four. And back. Let's go three. Back. Let's go two, back, and just one more, and back. Hands on our hips, inhale, exhale, forward bend, 
dropping our hands beside the feet, bending the knees to allow us our, our tummy touch our thighs. Push the ground, let the head drop. We hold for three breaths, no pain. If we need to bend a lot the legs, it's okay. Let's go for two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Inhale. Hands on your hips, straighten your back. Push the ground, raise your torso with your back fully straight. Good. We step backwards with your left foot. Hips facing forward, the back foot might open to the side, it's okay. Bend the front knee to stretch the back leg. Hands go at the back of your head, open your elbows, let the head rest on your hands. Stretch your tummy, we hold here. Four deep breath, inhale deep. And exhale, opening your chest. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now hands go onto your hips. We hinge forward. We keep the front knee bent as far as you can go. If you can drop the hands onto the ground, it's okay. But maintain the back heel on the floor. Let the head drop and we hold here for four. You can keep your hands on your hips if you cannot reach the ground. Let's go for three. two and just one more inhale hands on your hips stretch your back push the ground and we come all the way up and bring the legs together good let's go warrior one other leg step by our right foot hands go behind your head raise the head on your hands lift your chest kind of arch in our back but without forcing and we just hold for four, three, two, pushing your feet against the ground for stability. Just one more. Release, hands on your hips, move forward. Again, we can keep our hands on our hips, or if we can reach the ground, we let the hands drop. Let the head drop, and we hold for four. Exhale. Keep the back heel on the ground. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Hands on the hips, push the ground, raise your torso. Good. Bring your legs together. Fantastic. Roll the shoulders backwards. We go all the way down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands pray position. Now we hinge forward with your back straight. Bend the knees to allow us to keep the back straight. And forward bend. Let the hands drop beside your feet. Let the tummy touch your thighs. We extend the legs as far as we don't feel pain. And maintain your tummy close to your thighs. We hold for four. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now lift your chest just to straight your back. And we step our right foot and left foot. Well done. Back onto all fours. And from all fours, we're just going to cut and cow. So inhale, curving your spine. Exhale, arching our back, releasing our back. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go two, out, just one more, and out, back onto neutral, sitting back, child pose, and we just hold here for three, deep breath, inhale deep, and exhale. 
let's go to an X and just one more an X well done everybody raise your torso we are just gonna swing the legs to the side to sit down on our bum mm -hmm. bring your legs to the front now from here bring your hands behind open your chest make sure that your back maintain as you keep your back straight you can lean backwards it's okay bend your elbows to relax your shoulders drag the feet closer we lift the feet but the most important is pull the legs close to us keep our chest up we hold here for four for three flex and point your feet if you feel that your feet are very tight and tense move them let's go two and just one more now bring your feet onto the ground make sure that your knees are going wider interlace your fingers push your palms away straight your back imagine you want to stand up we hold for four breaths inhale Exhale, let's go two, and just one more. We release, we cross the legs and the right leg go at the front. You can maintain your feet under your lower leg or one foot at the front of the other one, whatever is more comfy. And from here, we're just going to, if we cannot go forward and we are really backwards, we use the hands at the back to help us to move forward. If you feel comfy going a little bit lower, you can bring your arms to the front, okay? Whatever of the two. So we hold here with the arms at the back or at the front. And we just rest here for full breath, feeling the stretch in your inner thigh. Let's go for three. Two and just one more. Now we come all the way up, arms come up, back again, your feet flat on the ground, hands behind, lift the chest, lift your feet, and we hold for four, breathing. Exhale. Let's go for three, pulling the legs closer. Let's go to relax your shoulders and your face. Just one more. Now bring your feet back again onto the ground. Interlace your fingers. Imagine you want to stand up to stretch your back. If it's not comfy with the arms up, you can use your hands at the back to stretch your back fully. Let's hold here for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. That's great. Now we're going to cross the left leg at the front and we're just going to lean forward. You can help it with your hands at the back. If you cannot go too low, you can use your hands to push you forward or you can go lower to just bring your arms to the front. Your feet, remember, you can keep one foot under the lower leg or one at the front of the other one. Sorry. And let's go forward then. And we just hold here for four. Inhale, feel the stretch in your inner thigh. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we raise our torso. Good, everybody. Today we're going to do something against the wall to help us to develop more flexibility in our neck, our spine. So what we are going to do, we're going to move our mat close to a wall. I hope you have a free wall. <laughs> and then to find a, a free wall, you don't need too much space. Bring your mat against the, the wall. And what we are going to do, we're just going to sit down outside your mat. Just going to move a little bit more this way. Okay? Super. So here... You need to bring your bum really close to the wall. Mm -hmm. And we're going to lie down outside your mat. Okay, so you can make sure that your back and your arm are parallel 
uh, to the mat. Now bring your bum closer to the wall that you are really touching the wall with your bum. And then we're just gonna roll onto our back and we're just gonna rest here. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you know this exercise, but we're gonna do it against the wall to help us when we are beginners or we, we don't have too much flexibility, just to help us to stretch our spine, but with support. We're gonna bend the legs, feet flat on the, on the wall. Relax your arms just beside your body. Make sure that your neck is comfy on the ground, that there is nothing really stressing your neck or your head. Now push your feet against the wall, and we're going to lift the hips as far as you feel comfy. If you feel that you need to move more, uh, higher your feet because you are stretching more your back, you do it. And we just hold here as far as we don't feel pain. Push the weight, push your feet against the wall, and we hold here. For four, exhale, for three, two, feel a nice stretch in your back without forcing your body. Just one more. We release slowly the spine onto the ground. Drag the knees close to the tummy, hands under the knees. Lift the head off the ground to close your back. Take a deep breath. And release down. Well done, everybody. How you feel? Good? It's okay? So let's repeat again. Make sure that nothing is really uh, disturbing the position of your head. Better to have it with the, without ponytails or stuff like that. Not like me. <laughs> Bring your feet a little bit higher. Arms on the ground. Inhale and exhale, push the wall, lift your hips, walk with your feet a little bit higher just to straighten more your back. If you need support, keep your hands on your hips. And we just hold here for four. Push the wall with your feet for three, as far as we feel comfortable. Two. And just one more. And slowly release your spine onto the ground. Drag the knees just above your tummy, hands under the knees. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your head off the floor. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let the head drop. And we're just going to go one more time. Okay? Only you feel comfy. Try to don't force your body. You know, as far as you can go. If you, you can go just... Tiny lift, it's okay. So we lift the hips. Maybe it's just here, it's enough. So now us a little bit higher, feet come higher. We hold for four. You can hold your hips if you need it. Let's go three. Two. And just one more. And slowly release. This time we're going to keep our legs straight against the wall. Flex your feet without forcing. And we're just going to, if it feels comfortable, straight your arms over your head and rest your hands on the ground, palms facing upwards. And we just hold here for five breaths. Inhale deep. Exhale. Let's go four, three, two, and just one more. Now bend your legs, open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down, and we're just going to walk with your feet in the, on the wall and drop the knees toes to the right side. Let the right leg completely arrive on the ground. Don't worry, the left don't go all the way. Maintain all the shoulders, both shoulders on the ground. Move your face opposite direction of your legs and we hold here. For four, don't worry, the top leg don't go down, okay? Let the right leg on the ground, but don't worry for the top one. 
And hold me here just for three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Back to center slowly and we drop toes to the left. So let the left leg go all the way and don't worry the top leg don't go down. That's okay. If it's go down fantastic but make sure that you keep both shoulder blades on the floor. And we hold here. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold for four. Three, two, and just one more, and I slowly release everybody. Now we're going to come away from the wall by rolling toes to the right side. Help you with your hands to come onto the sitting pose. How you feel? Good. It feels really good. It's a stretch. It stimulates a, a, a lot our nervous system. Blood circulation. So it's really nice sensation. Come back onto child pose, everybody. We're sitting back as far as you can go without forcing. We hold for four. And three, two, and just one more. And we raise our torso, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, inhale, arms up, exhale to your mouth. Again, and just one more, hands back, pray position, say namaste. Thank you for joining us, see you tomorrow, and remember to like us and follow us as well in Instagram, the Sacred Body Studio. Bye-bye. <laughs>